you hear the noise? I love the noise because what the noise is is large numbers of people mobbing the Nokia booth. Clearly a lot of interest, a lot of excitement about what we've introduced, um, what we've been accomplishing over the last year. A year ago we announced our new strategy. Here we are one year later showing a full breadth of products in the smartphone segment, in the feature phone segment, some stunning new capabilities in the area of photography, location-based services, music, e-reading, and a whole variety of other things. So I won't go, I'll let, let the time be yours, but it's a very, very exciting time for Nokia right now. Um, so Nokia once had share of 40% of the market. Now it's coming down to what, around 20% or so. Um, my question is, is your strategy now more about containing more erosion or trying to get back up to where you were before? I mean, you've closed a lot of factories, so it's going to be hard for you to ramp back up in those numbers in that same way. So where, where, which way is it going for you? So first of all, we haven't closed a lot of factories. We've closed one factory, and it was largely related to shifting production to Asia where it could be closer to the actual uh, component suppliers. It was unrelated to, to volume per se. but the. The way we think about this is, this is very much about Nokia establishing a new strategy and allowing from that strategy us to grow share, to build back. I'll never make any forecasts as to what's the right number or how far do we want to go, but do we want to be number one? Do we want to be the number one smartphone provider? Do we want to be number one in emerging markets? All of those things, of course, those are our aspirations to, to make sure we're doing that. Um, on the subject of the um, Android, um, you said some are, some are doing better than others. Um, one of the ones that hasn't been doing so well lately is HTC. And as you saw a few days ago, they've relaunched their smartphone platform, uh, much, much pared, more pared down line of phones. Nokia has had in the past a lot of devices on offer. Um, how do you see that moving forward? Um, do you think you may be honing down to, to a, smaller, a smaller set, sort of a la a certain company in if, Cupertino? If you, think the, um, if you think of Nokia some years ago, where there was a very large number of obviously different devices, we will be more pared down going forward than we were in the past. We don't see it though as a single device strategy or anything like that, so we're not heading that far, but it'll be a paring down. I have to qualify the answer a little bit in that because we serve the world, because we are you know, very aggressively in countries all over the world, a single device, like this is the, the Lumia 900, it, depending on how you measure it, could be one or two devices. It's the Lumia 900, but there's an LTE version for the US, there's an DCH HSPA version for the rest of the world. Is that two devices or one? In our books, it's you know, one principal design with two variants. And so I think about our Lumia portfolio as essentially four devices right now. So. Um, and just one last question. Um, I've, I've noticed that you're, you're, you're adding a lot of smart features to your feature phones, yes. um, and you're getting a lot smarter in your feature phones. Um, are you seeing um, a gradual decline then in the very lowest end devices, um, and or that the least expensive devices will become like very cheap smartphones? So the second part of your question is the way we think of it. Yeah. The business opportunity across the lower price bands remains very strong. There's a lot of people buying their first devices, or people just walking into a store in the UK. I had this conversation earlier with one of the UK retailers where they said a lot of people still walking in just saying, give me the cheapest prepay thing you've got, no doubt for the visiting mother-in-law or you know whatever it is, and that's fine. And, but what people are expecting is, or the way to think about this is not about a market going away, but across a price band, the capability is getting better and better with time. So we see it as a continuing opportunity for us. Okay, good, thank you everybody.